Hey, 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 it's Red Panda Gaming, and welcome back to episode 4 now of the Silver Let's Play. And we've just killed the Fire Sprite, which was a wonderful challenge. <laughs> Use the term wonderful there loosely. Just headed up from that map to realise there's some trees on fire, and apparently we need a, some form of magical item to get through there. So, what we need to do next is to have a little break. We're actually going to head to the pub. That's where we want to be right now, in the pub. Because you know what, after dealing with fire sprites and all those fireballs and all the fire magic going around, what we need is a good old fashioned pint. And that's exactly where we're heading. So, we've gone to the rain gate. Obviously we've been here before, and thankfully I know my way around rain, thanks to exhaustingly <laughs> running around all the maps and mapping it out. And, oh hello, what are you doing? I've just realised I've still got the Ice Wand equipped. And I've still got Sukuni and Vivian equipped with no weapons from doing the uh, critical health challenge. And let's go and sort that out. So, David, I want you with Broadsword, Vivian. Broadsword, Sukuni, Bow. Group together. And we're going to head on up. Now, if you remember, we chased some guy uh, who basically accused us of trying to steal from him and gut him. And he dropped a key, which is actually this key that we need right here. And we are now entering Lower Rain. Well, no need to be that dramatic and walk through. Come on, guys, pick up the pace. Now that brings us to here, and we've not got the usual grunts, we've got kind of thugs and guys who look like pirates. I guess that's just <laughs> how it goes. Go to lower rain, find some pirates. Oh, Sukuni is now left on our own down there. Sukuni, I'm coming! Just keep firing arrows! Oh, geez. At least these guys have followed us. Well, I guess, at least. Web of Death! Can't wait to get some more specials. Right, guys, don't. There we go. I'd say, don't just have me do all the work. I mean, you are here too. We've got two ways to go left or right, left or right, left or right. Let's go this way. In fact, no. I want to go right. Quick mind change, why not? Oh, these guys are just bullying some poor randomer. I guess if you're not a thug in um, lower rain, then you're a victim. Life is hard, unfortunately. Pick up these little bits here, and ooh, off we go. I still love the weather in rain, as expected it's, well, I probably don't need to invest that much in a weather forecaster. Oh, and when the people just explode. Come on pirate man. Now what you might be thinking is, maybe we can get one of those lovely scimitars that these pirates are holding, but that's not one of the weapons you can get in the game, unfortunately. Head on down. And of course, we can't just head on down because there's random pirate dudes again. Oh, two for one, David. You are... You're making me like you. Come on, Sakuna. Shoot. Ugh. Shoot someone. Just... That's it, guys. 
Vivian's just doing a thing. Maybe a little, there we go, little support from Scooney there. Getting a shot, why not? Come on, we just want to go to the pub. If going to the pub involved all this in real life, I don't think I'd ever bother. Hey guys, you want to go out tonight? Yeah, bring your broadsword and your web of death. <laughs> you web of death. Why is that guy just standing still? Clearly he gave up on life. Or how awesome we were. Oh, Sakun has reverted to the throwing knives because she's run out of arrows. I'll have to remember to pick some up later. Can you guys just do this one for me? Come on. Thank you. I want that bread. Give me the bread. I'm not going to use the old chronicler just yet. And one thing I did learn uh, from this game, I would said that the chronicler that appeared at the oracle was potentially a permanent one. Strangers aren't welcome here. <laughs> you won't get in without a fight. Called it pirates. Uh, it turned out to not be. So whilst I was trying to work the characters all down to low health, uh, so that Vivian and Sukuni were at one health, and then David was at two health for the critical health boss challenge, I found it very useful <laughs> the fact that I'd left quite a few chroniclers around helped cut down on some of the running back whilst on low health and some of the maps as well even when you've done them the first time you'll end up with a sort of random spawn like just one or two mobs and then you've whilst you're trying to run through on one health that can be a bit of a hindrance shall we say so most of the frustration of killing the fire sprite with the critical health challenge was the fact that I used up the chronicler that was right before it like a moron <laughs> so every time I died I had to do a sort of one and a half minute run back whilst recording and then edit that one and a half minute out plus the other bits I didn't want and all of that and just ah uh. anyway we're at the pub ah oh. sit down relax have a drink we're at the pub now we've got quite a few people we can talk to, quite a few things we need to do here. I need to check how much gold I've got because there is a little bit of trading that goes on here. 431, that's fine. So as you can see there's this chap. Come closer lad. Surely you're by a distinguished wizard that we sniffed up. Sorry, I have no change to spare. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll sell you my fire sword. It's my very last, most treasured possession. Angels of alcohol, yours people. For a very small sum. How small? For you, for just two hundred pieces of gold. You must be kidding. Okay, okay. One hundred pieces. That's my last offer. Interested? Desperate times call for desperate measures when you're pissed. This had better work. Surely you're not suggesting that I would swindle such a generous man. I am mortally wounded by your accusation, and I think you should buy me a drink to apologize. <laughs> and I think we should leave. Suit yourself? Of course, insulting you is not my intentions. How dare you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stand back. Uh, come to keep a tired old man company. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Dodgy. get the chance to chat as much as I'd like. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Albert. I'm sorry, but uh, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, you're probably too busy to listen to an old fool <laughs> prattling yeah. on about his life history. No, Pretty no, much. of course not. I've had a good life. <laughs> and I bet I could tell you a thing or two. <laughs> I'm sure you could. 
30 gold pieces. Pardon? Give me 30 gold pieces, and I'll tell you something <laughs> interesting. Trust me, it's a very small sum considering what I know. What do you say? I wonder how much a pint actually costs her. Okay, but you'd better listen carefully. I don't like to repeat myself. <laughs> now, <coughs> Lower Rain is filled with city scum, and they'd leave a sick, <coughs> a sick old man die alone rather than open their gates to a stranger. I paid 30 gold pieces to hear that? Yes, if you don't keep quiet while I talk. I had not finished. Sorry, go on. I don't know. <coughs> If I have the strength. <laughs> <coughs> okay, okay. I know how you can get through the gates with no questions asked. Sounds and like me recording. Ring the bell outside three times in quick succession. Always and coughing. And pause for a second. And then ring it twice and pause again. And finally, ring the bell once more and the gates will open. <laughs> now leave me alone. You're monopolizing my valuable time. Well, I do apologise, you wanted the company, but there's the code for ringing that bell, the place we found in the earlier episode. So, three times, short pause, two times, short pause, one time, open. Also, realise, apparently this bit isn't lower rain. Don't know why I thought it was, probably because of all the scum around. Again, it is quite a nice pub, or tavern, to be honest. I like it. And let's talk to Pirate Face. You're brave. And you heard? I'm the carrier of cursed treasure. Didn't we cursed? just kill you outside? Well, the barman believes that this here gold doubloon be cursed and stolen from a long dead pirate. So how did you get it? From honest plunder. And now it seems I can't even use it to buy a drink. Oh. Tell you what, it's yours for 30 gold pieces. What do you say? Uh, as attractive as an offer it is we do need it <laughs> anyway so well, yes we'll take it I hope you don't need it well we do and let's talk to big man excuse me why what have you done uh we... nothing i just wanted your attention tell me uh, do all little men have bad manners what i asked do all little men have bad manners you tell him i heard and I warn you, your mockery offends me. Then forgive me, for I thought that even such a little man would have noticed that I was already talking. Or is your sight as short as your temper? Say little just one more time and I'll... Huff and puff till you blow old Jug down. Go on, Jug. Tell him. Don't turn your back on me. You're bold, I'll give you that. So let's call it quits, okay? Good. Oh, my quote of the day is, your mockery offends me. Done. Am I meant to be fight? No. Book's on, so I just stand there like a bellend. I've used the word bellend twice now in this series. Need to mix it up. Thank you. No need for thanks. I enjoyed it. So tell me, why does a skilled warrior like yourself waste his time in a tavern? I could ask the same of you. There's no better place for information. Information on what? Silver. And anything that will bring about his destruction. Hmm, that's a risky endeavor, but, uh, one I'd be proud to undertake if you let me. Well, perhaps Jug has some, uh, unfinished business with Silver. Who knows? Sukuni, go to the rebel camp in Haven and wait there till we need you. The Duke may have more news of Silver. Yeah, you cost me arrows. Bye, Sukuni. Also, Jug comes with... Yes! The Battle Axe. Now, swords are strongest when lunging. <clears throat> but, Battle Axe, as you would expect, because it doesn't have a pointy end, it's got two sharp sides on it, is strongest when you're slashing. Something to keep in mind if the person you're controlling is holding a Battle Axe. And he has a potion, but actually, he's drinking it like he's just at the pub. Do they serve beer here in potion vials? 
That's not okay. question too what much. Okay, Information. I'm a tavern keeper. Maybe I know things. Maybe I don't. Have you overheard anything about eight magical orbs? That depends who's asking. And why. Jug's asking. If you know anything, tell me. Oh, what? Or innocent people could die. Are you threatening me? Hey, he's threatening me! Well, you've got an axe no, out in a No, you pub. don't understand. Oh, Tavern. I understand, all right. You're in league with Silver. Well, you'll hear nothing from me, so you might as well just get out. But we're... Go on. Out. Fine, we're going. All right. All right. Uh, whilst just doing this, worth mentioning that, as far as characters go, so Jug, just by looking at him, as you can tell, he's pretty much the warrior tank guy of the group so his HP is going to be higher than David's, strength is higher, dexterity quite low compared to the other characters because he's a bit of a slow mover and memory failed I forgot something so back to the tavern trust me to forget something it's like I'm not perfect oh who would have thought it so the bit we missed with the splits in the paths between blah, 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 the new parts of rain that we've been doing is we missed out on a nice new thing which I'm not going to spoil it just yet but it's not too far away so it shouldn't take long once we get rid of yet more pirate scum And of course, they're all out in full force because I've got something I want to do. Oh, seriously, more? Come on. Die, die, die. I'll take those throw knives, though, thank you. So before we went to the tavern, basically what I should have done is when we're on this map is to have gone up here kill this merry band of pirate thug scum Lunge, lunge, lunge. Because we've now got a new special move, which is Cleaver. So if we equip that onto David. Oh, when did I get Reaper? Didn't even realise I had it. So, may as well show you both. So, Reaper. And... Cleaver! Uh, with specials, they do recharge, but if you want to use more than one, or use a different one whilst the others are recharging, you can just swap mid-battle. But it does mean that you've got to right-click and go through these windows in order to switch. So, in the heat of battle, probably not the easiest thing to do. But, if needs must and you get the opportunity, it can work out in your favour. Anyway let's go on back to where we were supposed to so we need to go to the oracle because we have a key to head into winter which in the last episode I was <laughs> starting to explain during one of the uh, boss fights that during the last boss fight even that basically we could have gone and done the fire sprite or we could have gone and done another boss and the other boss is ice based so we would have had the fire orb at that point but nothing else or we could have gone for the fire boss and just used the ice wand so this is the other of those two bosses that we had access to at that point so let's get going and finishing up I do love this scene the gates at Haven are absolutely amazing I mean, goon exploding powers aside they do look really cool and here we are in winter so we are gonna have a number 
of ice monsters to fight. So, David is going to be my main because he's the best with magic at this moment in time. And he's going to have the fire orb. And he's got his broadsword as well, and that doesn't quite work out. Jug's going to have the fire sword on, and Vivian, sorry, love, you're going to have to stick to uh, the broadsword. And my aim is still awful. And David's MP just from doing that little bit there already running out quite quickly so I'll probably have to switch quite a few times. And as expected three more of those ice dragons or drakes are going to appear. There's two. There's the last one. And I've missed. Yeah, got him. I've got two entrances here. We'll go for the bottom one first. And they both lead to exactly the same place anyway, so what was the point? But hey, it's for funs. Jug, at least come up. Go on, hit him. Oh, no, I can't because my MP's out. And we've got a new shield which won't get used. <laughs> come on, guys. Come say hello. That's it. Web of death! That's it, Jug. You're getting stuck in. Why isn't Vivian? And we've got another battle axe. So, Vivian, you're getting an upgrade. Yeah. And Vivian needs a quick munchie so that bread can go to her. Nom 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 and all that. So, here in winter. If we take this exit, we're going to start heading to Glass's palace. We're not ready for Glass. She's the daughter of Silver, strong sorceress. So going into Glass's palace, probably not the best idea at this point. So we're going to head over here, which is where the route to the Ice Orb is. And a lovely challenging boss who no doubt I'm going to die 10 plus times to doing the critical health challenge. But hey, ah, do you know what? I am the Perfect Chronicle. time to save. I shall record your adventure. Yeah, we know who you are. Create a new file. Red Panda 6. And let's get going on our lovely adventure. Just thought, why I've been a bit silly with equipping weapons. Let's just kill these. Oh, that's a horrible sound. Mobs with horrible noises. So, Vivian is probably going to be the best bet with the Fire Sword because her wisdom's higher. And Jug, I believe, is just naturally better with an axe. And David, I've still got a broadsword equipped. What am I doing? Quick equip. Ah, oh, I took a hit. Oh well. There we go. More damage. Oh, let's... Why isn't his fire orb equipped? Now we've just got some new food. Some lovely roast rat. <laughs> Mmm, -mm. <laughs> can't wait to try that out. I think this is a relatively short dungeon. Ah, hidden chest. Oh, these guys are just going down quick. Still, my aim is terrible. Oh, he ran away. Oh, and there's these guys. As you can see, Axe is doing much better with the right and left swipes damage-wise. And if I do a lunge, I keep getting crits on the lunges for some reason. Is that it, guys? Nope, there's more. Ooh, 32. Not bad. He's going to run away. Yeah, get him, Vivian. Go 
Come on guys, run. And yep, this is definitely the boss room. I remember this. The big door. So mm, thinking how I'm gonna get the critical health challenge in. David, turn yourself. There we go. Yeah, Vivian with that fire sword. Now, I... The moment I go to go through that door, the boss is going to turn up, and I need to do this critical health challenge. So, I need to go and sort myself out. Ha ha! Quick change on you there. So, getting ready for this boss, he is weak to fire, and I've got it so that Vivian and Sukuni on 1 HP, David on 2, just like before, so that there's no chance of him just instantly dropping the moment the boss appears. Now, this boss that's coming up, he is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, solely because he's got a number of different attacks. So if I remember correctly, he has got a projectile and he's also got a massive hammer. So it's going to depend a lot on space. And I think when he uses his hammer, it does an AoE. So probably going to see quite a few deaths <laughs> just because of that AoE of me getting caught whilst trying to run. <laughs> Go in and welcome him. Come on, big guy. Slowly opening door. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he knocks us all down in one shot. Good job that doesn't do damage, otherwise this would all be ruined. Alright, let's hit him with fire. Oh! Let's try again. So uh, he's going to target David, I think. There we go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I'm doing a lot more damage than we did to the um, fire sprite. Ooh. I feel like his projectiles move a lot faster than what I had before. There's. Ah! No, no, no! Oh, he just hit me. <laughs> run, David, run! I need distance! There we go. One, two. I've got to get quicker at switching to that fire sword. That's one definite thing that I need to do to take this guy down. He's getting some knockback when he gets hit, so that's going to work in my favour. That's a perfect chance to switch. Knockback. Knockback. Stay away from me. Don't like you. Leave me alone. So I'm going to try and lure him up here so that I can then actually run. There we go, there goes the AoE. Going to go for a hammer hit maybe. Yeah, there's going to be a fair bit of running. <laughs> run him around. Yeah, take that. Um. With this, I'm going to be waiting on Fire Sword Recharge and regaining some MP. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Up there, don't. Oh, don't you go swinging your hammer at me. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. I feel like the fire sword is recharging quicker than 
the old orb did, he might have enough MP to just finish this off if he stops for a moment. Okay. No, David, why aren't you moving? <laughs> do what I need you to do, David. Oh, he's too close. Too close, too close, too close for comfort. Alright, this could be it. Have I got the MP to do it? Oh, oh he must just do that on his death then. He was doing the swirly ice before. But yeah, done. That was nice and quick. I was expecting far more deaths. And it looks like I just managed to <laughs> run him around. <laughs> Rather than calling it being a little bitch, we'll call it strafing, shall we? It sounds better that way on me. Come on, let's go! We still have six orbs left to find! Yeah! You must be David. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you. But who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm just a runner. <laughs> Professor Velding heard of your search for the orbs and believes he has some key information. He said he'd wait for you in the entrance at the library at No. Whew. Good luck. <sighs> hey, stop and have a break. I mean, won't, won't hold it against you. Uh, so, fast travel time. Where are we off to? Do, 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 do. Library at no, night, that was it. I think that was the third attempt I killed the boss on. Definitely an easier time than with the old fire sprite, but had two different fire weapons, so made it a lot quicker, damage wise. You have to help me. I'm at the end of my supply line. You mean tether? Uh, yes, I, I probably do. Oh, dear me. It's worse than I thought. What? Uh, my sanitary. Sanity? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I knew you'd understand. I'm afraid words become nonsensical if my mind remains inactive for an exterior period of time. I need a philosophical conundrum to pander. Uh, ponder. I'm afraid we have none. Okay. I'll have to find my own. Okay, there's, there's times when I'm at the end of my sanitary as well. It happens to the best of us, honest. We heard that you have some important news regarding one of the orbs. Yes, I heard of your quest, and Whoa. was just relating the details of my own discovery to the professor. He's 90% leather. And it is most interesting. I was fortunate to unearth some old scriptures that recount stories of an ancient, long-forgotten cathedral called Spires. Sounds nice. It was reputed to house a magical orb of healing. But I'm afraid that the city had the misfortune to sink, taking both the cathedral and the orb with it. Don't worry, all is not lost. Professor Velding has a friend. Yes, <laughs> Congrats. A necromancer by the name of Thaddeus. He's in residence in Lower Rain. Thaddeus has built a strange device he calls the Bathescape. The Bathescape travels underwater, thus allowing you to enter spires and claim the orb. How will we find this Thaddeus and his machine? When the time is right. You must summon him by reciting this incantation. From beyond the plains of Elysium and through the Red Sea of Jara, rise, Thaddeus, rise. Thank you. We will. Now oh, there's an intro for you. Maybe I should have a summoning intro. From beyond the plains of Elysium. Uh, where do I need to go, though? That is the main question. Oh, also we've got Happy Ice Orb, so let's just give that a quick whirl. So, single and AoE. Way! I've had a massive hammer and was about 20 foot tall. Maybe I could take over from the Viking guy. 
in the ice caves. Where is it I want to go? I think so. Uh, I think in that case I might have to leave it here because... Oh! I know. Actually go to lower rain because we've got the code to ring the bell, haven't we? So what we can do is... Rain! Uh, which would be quicker from... Athias' tower is going to be quicker. And down we go. That's oh, still an old apple not rotted. We also don't need it. We've got... Oh, here we go. Yeah, try out that ice. We've leveled up as well, so now we're going to do more damage. If you're an Sukuni, probably do with some weapons though. That'd be nice for him. Vivian can have an axe. Cuny, back to you bow. David, you're also going to have an axe. So, down from Matthias' tower, and there's two exits down, so we went for the left one. Did we? Oh, I'm starting to feel like I've managed to get myself lost. I think it's just because the maps are all crazy and swap around. And... No, I'm cool. Just crazy maps. Just referring to my hand-drawn map of rain. <laughs> uh, I would share it, but it's so hideously drawn. It's, it's not a good map. It does its job for me. But it's certainly not a uh, post worthy, we'll put it that way. Heading down here to that bell. Dun dun. Because we want to go to lower rain. Oh, one hit. He's going to take a bit more. He dropped something then. Thought he had. Oh well. Right. Now. This can be quite infuriating. Uh, from what I can remember, the pause in between the different bell strikes quite minimal. So let's just go for one, two, three, slight pause. One, two, slight pause. Damn it. <laughs> and let's try again. Why aren't you working? I need to come out. Right, figured out what I've done. It's because. I had a separate save file uh, for doing the boss challenge and then I've come back to my original I've killed the boss twice one as a standard kill with full health which was even easier surprisingly because could take hits and used all three characters but what I'd done on that save file was I had, hadn't spoken to the guy in the tavern who charges you 30 pieces of gold to get this code. So without doing that, even if you know what how the bell works and what you need to do with it, it's not going to work unless you've spoken to that NPC. So let's try again.
And let's see if I fail massively again. So, one, two, three, one, two, one. There we go. Is anyone going to come through the gate? That's usually what they like to do. Right, so before we head into Lower Rain, uh, we're going to save that for the next episode basically. So, thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next episode when we head into yet another area of rain and start exploring that so that we can go and get this next orb. Two out of eight so far, not bad. Catch you later.